Okay, just to recap, when we're running Gradle from IntelliJ, IntelliJ is actually going to be running the Gradle wrapper task in the background. So there's really nice integration uh, with Gradle. This is actually using the Gradle wrapper from the project. That's how IntelliJ behaves by default. And you, of course, can change the settings to override that. Now, to actually do that from the command line, let's jump over to terminal now and take a look at the project. And we have two two settings here. One is Gradle W and one's Gradle W bat. So for Linux and OS X, it's going to be Gradle W. That's a, a shell script, bash probably. Actually, double check. So that is a shell script. So regular shell script for uh, Gradle W, nothing special there. And then Gradle bat, that is a batch file for the Windows environments. Being on OS X, I'll be running Gradle W. And through that, I can run a few commands. One is Gradle W clean. Oh, and I need to do dot slash. So we can see that that actually runs. I can do clean test. And we can see that that actually runs. If I do clean build, that actually cl clears out my uh, target directory and actually builds the entire project. So that there are some uh, distinct differences between Gradle and Maven. Uh, the commands are a little bit different, but very, very similar. You can use both of them from the command line. A best practice is probably be using the wrapper. Uh, the Gradle community is probably better about using wrappers than Maven, but um, in either case, it, it's probably a good practice. If the project that includes a wrapper, go ahead and use the wrapper. Um, I know I have a, a Gradle in, executable on my system, and it is dreadfully old. I don't want to admit how old it's because I typically use the uh, wrapper included with the project. So that that is really the best way to be going. So you, you have very similar uh, commands there. In this course, I'm not going to be able to go that in depth in the build tools because it, it's quite a rabbit hole to run down. The focus of the course is on testing and not Maven and Gradle and building Java and Groovy and various JVM projects. So I'm not going to be addressing too much more Gradle or Maven configuration from here, but I want you to be aware of how you can execute your tests from the command line. And this is going to be applicable to uh, running it on a CI build server as well. So that these are, are tools that you will need to be executing and building your projects and getting tests and test outputs in an automated way.